It's going to be a busy one today. Must organise the guys to help collect their blasting seeds. How's it going, Matty? Good, Sam. Jump in. Got a lot on today, so uh, firstly we'll go down and open the walkway. Yeah, no worries. I like getting up early, it's the best time of the day. I usually start around seven. And my first job is to check the tree walk. It can get a little messy overnight, especially if the wind's up, and it must look good before the visitors arrive. I've been working as a horticulturalist for almost four years now. I had my own landscape gardening business for a while, but I decided it was time for a change, and that's when I applied for this job. Good morning, Jess. Morning Matt, how are you doing? I'm good thanks, just coming to pick up the gonfrenas for the Kimberley bed. There are four trays for you here. Thanks Jess. Okay guys, I've got trays of gonfrenas to put in here today. So I'll just start putting them out and then um, you guys can go ahead and start planting them. When do the subsurface come on Sam? Uh, 9 till 10 tonight I think and then 9 till 10 tomorrow morning. Is that most days of the week or just days? Yeah I think it's once every second day I think oh. it is. The park is immense, it covers about 400 hectares. I look after 17 hectares of botanical gardens, which involves weeding, fertilising and planting. I also roster on the volunteer staff. They usually work two days a week doing garden duties. Okay, who hasn't collected seed before? Yeah, I haven't, Matty. All you have to do is just pinch it out with your thumb, give it a bit of a twist. When planning and setting out new garden beds, you must consider the height and the width of shrubs to be planted. Researching this information is another part of my work. Have I got any codes in here? Yeah, Matt, we've got a tree down at Acacia Steps. Probably need the chipper and chainsaw up here. OK, Pete, um, I'll organise that and I'll meet you at the steps. All right, go, Matty. OK guys, just with the chipping, I'm going to get Pete today on the emergency bar. Sammy, I'll get you to start it up. Moya, can you move the chute mm -hmm. and face it into the garden bed there? Sure. Um, let's get started. No worries, Matty. Sweet. We use lots of mulch in the garden, which helps to save water. I usually organise a truck and a machine to tidy up areas where tree branches and limbs have fallen. Ready? Mulch is then put back into the garden bed, but it's all a matter of priority as to where it's needed most. Okay guys, let's pack it up. Sammy, can you take the chair back to the depot? Yep. I guess there's nothing I really dislike about the job except repairs to trickle systems. Most of the garden beds have subsurface irrigation, so this helps to conserve water. It's a very efficient system, but if someone spikes a hose with a shovel, it can be a problem finding the leak. Yeah, Matty, I've just spotted some smoke coming up from the northeast corner of the Botanic Gardens, mate. You better get over here quickly. Roger, Sam. One of the biggest threats to any park during summertime is fire. I'm rostered on once a month as a standby fire officer. I do my normal duties but can be contacted in the event of a fire. We're all trained and have set procedures to follow. I enjoy my work. It can be physical though, and you do get tired. The conditions and pay are good, and I usually work a 38 hour week. Water on! If you're thinking about a career in horticulture, then you can do the TAFE diploma. When I was doing the course, I had a part-time job in a nursery. This experience gave me a better understanding of the various types of plants available. It also helped with my studies to put into practice some of the things I learnt. I guess I've always been an outdoor person, and what's great is that I work in the city. But just look at the view. 